Where should babies sleep? So three things to consider when placing a baby's bed in a room. One of them is safety. The other one is protection. And lastly is comfort. Okay, so the first one is safety. Very important. You want to keep baby safe at all times, away from all sorts of hazards and dangerous things. So what are some hazards? For example, in a room, you could put like a big, big tall furniture next to your bed. This is to be avoided. This is very tall. It could fall on the bed. That's not very good. It, there could be things on top of this piece of furniture, which could also fall on the bed. So that's also not good. So try to avoid furniture very close to the bed. Even if they are low, baby could totally just climb out of the bed onto the piece of furniture and fall from that. So try to avoid being too close to these kind of things. The next thing you need to be aware of are all these things in the walls, like all these like radiators or air conditioners, things like that, that blows air and blows heat. So these things are very, very hot. You don't want to put the bed too close to this burning thing or this air conditioner, which is not about, uh, yes, the cold air is bad, but another thing about air conditioners is they, they kind of drip water condensation. That's also not good for health. So try to avoid all these things. And finally, you want to avoid being too close to the window because the window is firstly very close to all the environmental things. Um, it's also made of glass. If like, let's say you're in an earthquake zone, the window could break, which is very, very dangerous. In fact, you should never sleep next to a, a window anyway if you are in an earthquake zone. But for our non-earthquake people, a window is also dangerous because there are dangling curtains or blind uh, cords which could strangle the, the baby, things like that, very scary. Let's not even think about that. Or the baby could even climb up the curtains and climb out of the room. So that's not very good. So try to avoid being too close to the window. But that's it. Um, we don't want to be too far away from the window too. I'll get to that later. So safety is about being away from all these hazards. There could be a fan in the ceiling. Make sure that the fan above the ceiling is very, very well secured. I would, if I can help it, use a standing fan on the side instead of having something dangling on top. That's a feng shui thing. Nothing too heavy above you. Okay, so that is safety. The next one is protection. So you want the baby to feel protected. Now, protected from what? Protected from people from the door. There's a door, lots of movement and energy coming from the door. So don't put the baby too close to the door. It feels very um, like busy and you can't really sleep well. So you want to keep the baby a bit further. And also you want to be aware of what's outside the window. If it's nice trees and flowers, that's okay. Not so bad, it doesn't be so far. But if there's a big, big car over there, like room, 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 very noisy. You want to put the baby a bit further from the window so you want to feel protected. And of course, a feng shui classic. Never put the bed floating in the middle of the room. It needs support for that level of protection. You want one of the walls to be against the bed, or should I say the bed to be against one of the walls. Instead of have like, this is fine, this is fine. Just not floating in the middle. Now, there's this idea of whether you should put the baby like right in the corner like this. Now, although this is protected and is great for like younger kids, for babies, maybe not so advisable because you do want that circulation of the air and also being able to pick up the baby from different sides. So this is where we come down to the final point, which is comfort. Like I could put my baby here, it checks all the safety boxes and everything, but it's very far from the window, it's very far from this good, nice energy, like the nice breeze and things, it's kind of tucked in this dark, dark corner, so that's when you don't feel comfortable. In fact, there's an element of protection here because you can't even see the baby in their bed, you need to come in and actually take a look, so the best way is slightly further out into the main space so you can see and also there's air circulation to go all around. Many baby beds are designed to go to the side, which this is totally fine as well. You can do it like this. If you want to sleep with baby, that's a very good idea. Babies like to sleep with their parents. They feel, you feel more secure. They feel more secure. But try to avoid in the first six months especially to sleep with the baby on the same bed as you as you might roll on them a bit, a bit much. So try to have their own cot. Um... Don't, try not to put the baby in line with the pathway to the door. This is very, very busy. In fact, this is the kind of location that you will put your little pet dog because they can protect you, they can guard you, and they the foot at the bed. But if it's a baby, you can't really see what's going on. So maybe not so great unless you really have no space on the on the either side. But if you can help it on the either side, it's better. Now, which side is better? On this side or this side? This side obviously is closer to the door. So it's very busy and noisy. But at the same time, there's an advantage. It's closer to the bathroom. 
Now, in feng shui, a, a bed is for sleeping. So we try to make it such that the bed is more calming and sleepy for your little sleepy head. That's why putting on this side is slightly better, especially if it's two of you, you come in at different times of the day. So it's kind of better to put the baby on the quieter side. So if daddy comes in when mommy is asleep with the baby, doesn't really affect baby too much. This one, there's a lot of movement. Yes, it's convenient for you, but baby will get waken up more easily. So I would say this is a slightly better side. Of course, um, only if this does not exist. So as you can see, there's many, many, many millions of factors to consider. It's almost like a balancing game to find the ideal spot for your baby in the room, looking at the radiator, the fan, the window, the views, the door, the your, even your sleeping habits. And this is not even touching on the other types of furniture, like the dressing table, the, the little pool bin, the, the changing table, the nursing chair, all sorts of other things to throw into this equation. But at least you understand the idea that when you want to have a baby sleep, it needs to be safe, protected, and most importantly, comfortable. No, most importantly, safety, then protected, and then least importantly, but you know, you want to sleep well, to be nice and comfy. Oops. So, now you go.